So uh, I'm going to tell you something about uh, enterprise dashboards, uh, data discovery, big data, advanced analytics, and what is now the common denominator for us as Adidas. Something for first about myself. I am Karina Seidel, and I, <laughs> and I am afraid of unstructured data. <laughs> I really hate unstructured data. It's, in the current age, it's not really allowed to be uh, afraid of them, but it's still a, a thing uh, I don't like. <laughs> Luckily, in my current work, 80% uh, of the data I'm working with is structures, and just 20% uh, is getting my nightmares. <laughs> and one of my uh, biggest mistakes uh, in work life was um, underestimating the simplicity of real-time data. Um, I started uh, my career in uh, online marketing as a student, and I was like, we had at a company, we created reports for that company, we had only digital and online data, but we had monthly reports. And I was really like, really? Monthly reports for real-time data? So uh, at that time, everybody was looking at me like, oh, that girl is a bit crazy, but uh, I'm happy that we are now <laughs> years ahead, and this is more and more common and normal. Of course, it's still uh, a big struggle, real-time data, but uh, we're getting there, also on Adidas. Uh, something about Adidas. So our core beliefs as a company is that through sports, we can and have the power to change lives. So um, we try to take this um, mindset to everywhere we go, so everything we see is challenge, and we want to grasp that, and uh, we want to interact with our consumers. I am working uh, in the digital IT department of uh, Adidas, that means we are at every digital touch point with the consumers, we are interacting with the consumers, and we think because we are that close to the consumer in a digital uh, way, we really can get to know them, and we have even more power of interacting and changing their lives and getting them to know better. So what's in the heart of our uh, core is consumers, consumers, consumers. Consumers are our starting point, and we think they are the most important and most valued thing we have. And, uh, that's how we try to focus on them and how we try to learn from them. And how do we do that? Of course, by collecting data. Here are some uh, rough numbers uh, about our consumers. So we have 110 million consumers, registered consumers, on our own e-com site. So this is just uh, people who buy stuff through our own website and how they're interacting with us and giving us the data and the information. Then we have 1.8 million active buyers which means that those people who are coming back to us because they love our product, they love the experience. So we're really proud of having those. And also, lastly, we are really happy of having an engaged community of people. So we get a lot of product reviews. People love to tell us what they like about their products or what they don't like about the product. They're giving a lot of product reviews, which on an e-com platform, on a web shop, helps to interact with other consumers. So somebody puts a comment like, hey, the size was a bit smaller than expected. It's there, and the next consumer who can order it can use this information and that data. Yeah, and of course, <laughs> we have big goals for our e-com commerce. So we currently um, are in 2016, we are one billion, and we want to go with with a revenue for four billion in the next two years. <laughs> Let's see <laughs> how we make that one happen. And I will try to uh, take you along in that journey and take, tell you how we approach those things. So. One of uh, my title slides was advanced analytics. Um, it's a lot, a really hot topic and buzzword currently, data science, everybody needs to do it. But just a, a short explanation how we are using advanced analytics. One of the things we do is consumer DNA. So we're creating, with our systems, we're creating genes to identify which kind of consumer is on our website. So the consumer signs in, so it's only registered consumer. He signs into the website and looks to different products. So we see how he likes more uh, the casual sneakers, the originals, or it's the runner, so he has a lot of running sneakers, or he loves football. So we're collecting this information, what they buy, but also how much time they spend on the website, or what I love to do is just putting that item into the basket, but not yet check out, not yet just buying it. So we also see how long people stay their product there. And if they're having the product there, we then would send them the nicely reminder email like, hey, your product in the basket, now it's a discount. So we try to um, get to know our consumer and get them the most personalized um, advice and help them finding the best product for them. And on the other hand, that is how we approach them. But on the other hand, like you see here on the picture, the shoes. So when we get the product review of the size, it's maybe different on the website. We can give it and present it to the consumer. But on the other hand, what we also can do 
is we actually take that feedback from the consumer and creating a better shoe. When he says, oh, the shoe was too heavy or too light. So we use a lot of this data we get from a consumer to create an even better product for them. The next uh, thing is then how do we do it? So this is towards the consumer. And then is how do we do it within our organization? So enterprise dashboards. Enterprise dashboards for us means dashboards, data, available for each and every employee. We have um, the belief within Adidas that those dashboards we create, those are actually real dashboards, so that's why they're blurry <laughs> um, from Adidas. So um, we believe that by sharing this data and the information across all different channels, so uh, within our department, DBC, everybody can access the dash dashboard. So everybody can use the data to make their decision and to be better and closer and interacting with the consumers. One of the outcomes we had were, for example, um, that the, in the websites needs to be fast. We all know that, of course. But uh, through that time, people want to have faster and faster and faster websites. So we got that uh, feedback from our consumers where they're saying, hey, we collecting uh, NPS, Net Promoter Scores, on the website. So people can say in each moment of the time on the web page from I don't like certain process steps. So we saw on their feedback that they found our page too slow. And then we, OK, let's change it. Let's tackle this. Let's make the fastest website we can to provide them a better feature. Or another thing we observed was um, our target audience getting younger and younger. And they don't want to go to a computer to buy shoes. No, they walk through the seats, see that sneaker. They want it immediately. They want to buy it on the phone. So hey, what did we? We improved uh, the mobile experience on the web shops to make it even better and easier to purchase items just on the go. And the last uh, of the topics I had there was uh, then data discovery and big data. So how do we actually get in all those informations? Uh, this is some examples we have. It's, um, we have Salesforce data coming in. We have Adobe data about the web clicks and web uh, analytics data. And we have the registered consumer data when a person registers in. And this is the structurized data. That's something we could easily create with Pentaho and Altrix are also here today. Um, how we integrate those data and then putting it into Excel. So, of course, we have a lot of more there. We have also the unstructured API data. I don't like that much, but. <laughs> So coming back to um, what we are actually, Adidas in numbers. So I started in the beginning with the volume of consumer data, which is, of course, easy. But within every interaction a consumer has with us as a partner, um, we're creating and collecting a lot of information. For example, we have 9.5 billion of genes in our historical table. By genes, um, I mean the data we collect about segmenting and identifying a consumer. So um, we look into what they want, what they purchase. So we can see, okay, this person is coming from Germany, it loves football shoes, and those information we collect and gather, and we then try to improve on that. So we um, use those genes for a lot of models. And you see, we have here a lot of numbers, which sounds like, OK, there's, they're having so much um, to tackle. We have a lot of data. We are e-commerce. You saw the amount of consumers and the amount of interaction. So the next question we are asking ourselves is, how do we approach this problem? Do we need big data? Do we need Hadoop? Stuff like that. So we were looking into, should we build our own system, should we access existing systems, and what's the best way for us actually to support this? That was nice to put those big numbers on the slide. <laughs> so in the end, our strategy was, um, our analytic strategy, is to blend traditional with uh, old, or with traditional and new. So what we use is our XSL performance analytical layer. This is all the things I just showed you. Data integration, advanced analytics, and the enterprise dashboard. Everything of those is accessing our Excel database. Everything is built upon that. So this is actually the heart of our department, where we have the information we need, how we make it easily available for everybody, and which makes it so easy for us to access and to manipulate and calculate data for the different departments. So we have a lot of insights with that, um, and we are really flexible and agility, and of course, we're enjoying the speed. But 
Also, we have our um, data lake. So currently, we're using um, that to store a lot of raw data, and we mostly use that for unstructured data. Um, and the API connections. Currently, we are still at Cloudera and Hadoop, but we are uh, moving that part to uh, Amazon Web Services. But this is the current state we have. So we are also constantly changing that part, but it, actually, XSL is <laughs> the most stable one we have in our current history. So this one is changing and hopping onto new trends. And uh, lastly, we also use um, Kafka and Helium for the event handling and tag management to make it more real-time and able to give those data and the analyzations we make. So like I said, the advanced analytics, so that at the moment I'm looking at an article, we send the information back to the website that people can see, OK, you looked just at this article, so probably you will like and love this um, article. So Kafka and Tilium is doing that communication with the website. Yes. And I'm a pretty fast talker, so this is already the end. 